A couple from Aberdeer who were quarantined on a cruise ship off the Californian coast have tested positive for coronavirus. Howard and Anne Lewis spoke to Wales Today last week from their windowless cabin on the Grand Princess, where they'd been stranded for five days. Well, since coming home, they've been tested and they've found out that they've got the virus. They've been speaking to our reporter, Jared Lawtham. This is our cabin, roughly. Forced to stay in this tiny cabin, and food left on the floor outside their door. It was the dream holiday that turned into a nightmare for Howard and Anne Lewis. After being stuck on board the coronavirus hit Grand Princess last week, the couple thought they'd escaped the virus on board the ship, but had to be tested when they got home. They would put the face mask through the door. I was to open the door and go into the living room. They would then come through the door go into the other living room, gown up and put their mask on and a, like a face visor, come and test us, which they did, and we'd have the result within 24 to 48 hours. Saturday afternoon at 5 o'clock, I have a phone call off Public Health Wales saying that they think because we have displayed no symptoms, we are free to go out. 7 o'clock Saturday evening, I have a phone call to say we are positive. I worked in British Coal for 30 years, and I don't know if this is true, but every time I get a cold or a sniffle, it tends to go to my chest. I don't know why, it may be just me. I've had no uh, cough or respiratory infection at all. We've had, neither of us have had a temperature, neither of us had a bad chest. Our temperature was checked three times on the plane, plus we wouldn't get on the plane until they checked our temperature. We haven't had a fever, we haven't felt hot. Everything that they say, for coronavirus, we haven't had. I feel fine as well, no problem. Do it, you know, I'm doing what I normally do around the house. Never got so excited about doing ironing in my life. <laughs> Having been flown back to a different airport in Birmingham, a recovery company said they'd be picking up Howard's car from where he had left it in Heathrow. Yesterday they agreed to fetch my car, and today they rang me to say they can't fetch my car, it's a health and safety hazard. Nobody's been in it for six weeks. I didn't catch it till I was in America. And they now are saying it's unsafe to collect it from Heathrow for me. So when you're finally out of quarantine, what, what is the first thing you're going to be looking to do? Yeah, the big thing is to see the grandchildren. And the grandchildren. Um, massive, because we haven't, you know, we've been able to Skype them, but it's, it's not, the, although it's brilliant, it's not the same as it.